What's up everyone? I have a 5 C Lion victory for you today. It's been a little while since I've uploaded a 5 of a kind but here we go. This is played in the golden pack obviously and you would think that C Lion is one of the easier 5 of a kinds to get here because there's not a lot of scaling going on in this pack. But you would be surprised, a lot of the teams uh, in this meta actually counter the sea lion scaling because sea lion scaling is pretty wide, so you have like multiple 20-20s, 30-30s at one point and a lot of the teams just deal with that stat line very nicely, like you have Nurshark dealing like uh, what is it, is it 18 damage? I don't really remember anymore because they changed it so much but I think it's 18 damage. You also have a lot of uh, these gold teams that run like uh, Manta Ray, they also run Bird of Paradise, they run the uh, Gazelle. So they have multiple 50-50 units and uh, those uh, counter the Sea Lions very nicely because one 50-50 unit actually trades with multiple 2020s. But uh, whatever the case we finally managed to get it to happen and uh, for now the run isn't really looking like anything special and uh, even I at the time did not know what to do. Like this run is obviously lacking direction at the moment but we will find our way forward eventually. And you see the road that decided the fate of this run is usually pretty obvious when you have to go for 5 of a kind. And this run is no exception. I think we take the baboon here in order to scale up a little bit. We already have a tier 3 in the Royal Flycatcher. Indeed we do take the baboon. And honestly I probably should have been stacking on the uh, door head end because a tier uh, 5 level up on turn 7 is actually going to be pretty decent. I actually reconsider I don't want the Royal Flycatcher anymore. Instead I want double guinea fowls. And Guinea plus the Baboon scaling is actually pretty nice because Baboon scales a lot of HP. Unfortunate that we hit the back uh, Guinea there because we wanted the front one to receive the buff, what, but whatever the case, I think we're still going to win. Yep, a 10 10 on turn 5 in Golden Pack, very strong. I think we're going to rearrange now, maybe even buy some lettuces. And by rearrange I mean combined. <laughs> I think uh, current me would have uh, just uh, rearranged there but I guess me from the past just wanted to combine there in order to make sure that the buffs land on the correct target this time. And this should be... Mm, it's difficult to say honestly but I think yeah it's going to be a loss. Uh, Secretary Bird plus... Uh, Lizard is extremely powerful and here you can see the reason why I decided to go for 5 sea lions. We get 2 on the initial roll, we haven't even spent a single gold for our rolling for this. And on the first gold that we spent on the turn, excluding the purchases of course, we, we managed to find another sea lion and the lettuce. Lettuce actually works very well here because we have exactly 3 sea lions which the lettuce is going to hit every single time. Next turn we can even include a fourth one instead of the guinea fowl. It's actually an interesting question, do you sell the baboon here or do you sell the guinea fowl? Because guinea fowl is a lot of tempo and this team needs some time in order to get on its feet. So yeah, we actually do sell the baboon here. I think past me done, uh, has done the correct choice even though it doesn't really matter because next turn we will be selling the guinea fowl as well. Uh, it's looking like a win here, yep. A lot of stats on the team and even though they inked the sub it's not going to matter. And here you can see by turn 9 we already have 5 sea lions on the team. It's very rare that you do the final team of five of a kind so early but uh, here we go we even get a level one one of them there's actually a trick to scaling sea lions up which you have probably noticed uh, the front one is getting a lot of hp and the back, back ones are getting uh, tons of attack they're kind of uh, decently balanced now with the exception of the first imposition sea lions so it's not that big of an issue but uh, eventually I think we'll have to reposition and 
Maybe even we do that on this turn, I don't really remember. Nine attack is not at all uh, big, so we, uh, we put it at the back so that it can gain some attack. It's actually kind of interesting to think about which C line you should be leveling. I, I would wager to say that the one in the middle should uh, get a level as well because it's probably never moving away from there. It's getting uh, perfectly balanced scaling so it's going to stay there until it's 50-50 and then we can maybe move it to the front but at that uh, point we'll probably have the other sea lines be at 50-50 as well if we manage to shuffle them up correctly. This turn we get a ton of stats as well, let's see how we do here. It's looking pretty nice. Yep. Should be a win here, yep. Easy one at that, we win comfortably. And I was really hoping to get all of them to level 2 so that the team can be aesthetically pleasing but unfortunately I don't think uh, we are going to find enough sea lions and chocolate to make that a re reality, we just win too quickly. Yeah, we rearrange here once again, the back ones got too much attack, <laughs> we get a third one up to level 2 which is nice. I think we might even get a fourth one if we manage to find one more chocolate and I think by the end of the run we do indeed find one more. Pretty scary looking team there because of the bad breakpoints but we managed to win regardless. And yeah only thing that can stop us now not even trumpets I think are enough. I think the only thing that is an obstacle to this team are the gold builds that have multiple 50-50s on them. But uh, at the same time we have some lives to spare as well, I think we have two hearts currently, yep. A very scary looking uh, team and it's probably going to be even scarier in, in the future when they scale up the German Shepherd but for now it's only 18 attacks so we win comfortably as well. And I believe this is going to be the final round. I could have fished for more levels but I don't think it's necessary and uh, equipment is also pretty important to have. So yeah, this is going to be it. Let's watch the winning round together and marvel with the satisfaction that it brings us. Yep, they have a very skilled up Royal Flycatcher but unfortunately for them no summons on our side and we win. For the final bit of this video I just wanted to show you this 5C lion win that I got all the way back in January but actually forgot to upload and it was just staying in the backlog for the longest time. So yeah, a very weak looking team but at the time uh, the golden pack wasn't figured out so this is going to end up being a win. So if you did like the content please like, sub, do all the generic stuff as they summon a gorilla for all time's sake. And I'll talk to you next time. Take care.